Hi everyone, it's Tiffany. I am back in The Sims 4 with our Super Sim Challenge. Today she has work as a doctor and I would like to get these patients treated. We'll at least get to... Oh no, 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 we're off today. Gosh dang it, I always forget that. Okay, we're off work today. So we need we're not gonna be able to make money that's okay that's all right let's see what else we can do we can probably work on some skills like the video game skill that she's working on right now that'll get her some fun which is great uh she'll definitely need some food here in a little bit let's go for get leftovers maybe we could do something with socialization I'm not entirely sure what we want to do i think we will definitely have our friends over we'll have julia angela and becca over and we'll kind of hang out and and hopefully socialize enough we'll probably do like mischief or comedy or something probably not mischief because we're not like the best of friends and we don't want to get them upset so what are we looking at it's such a dark day today i was like it's still evening isn't it but no it's it's nine all right we'll go ahead and have her grab some food and kind of want to have her do some painting just so we can get some money for the reserve since we're off but we already have enough in the painting skill we don't need to do that i'm trying to think what we can do to make money right now i oh is she going to cry in her bed oh my goodness share brilliant ideas and flatter and complain about heat i guess and flatter again why not let's do some joking maybe joking around funny jokes there we go we got level five of the charisma skill we could do that we could talk in the mirror and, and do stuff like that um angela you got to get in on this conversation too let's give you a hug everybody needs a hug we got to share a bunch of secrets and tell outrageous stories about my day as a like idealist sims sure i feel like she just likes everything she's a she's a renaissance sim essentially uh discuss logic puzzles Ask to cloud gaze. That's what I've been looking for. I still don't know how to find. I don't. I don't know where to find it in just the regular menu. It's it's too difficult for me to find. <laughs> All right, I want to make money, but I also don't know what the heck I want to do here. I'm gonna have her take a shower at least. We got an unknown caller. Uh, whatever. I don't know you. So we'll take a shower and I think that'll be the only need that we really need to work on. I think I'll have her sit up here with her friends and they can watch some TV together. Uh, gossip about neighbors. Although she's very, very, it's very nice. She doesn't really have neighbors. I mean, she has these ones, but these guys really have neighbors. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Let's speak to you guys. Let's see. Show off muscles. Look at this. Socialization, friendship. We love it. It's brilliant. Also, how's our... Like, we're not best of friends yet, but we're getting there. It's gonna take some time. All right, it looks like they want to leave or they needed to leave. So, what are we gonna do now? What can I do to make money? I think I'll just wait till we're doing the doctor thing, you know? So, for right now, we're stuck on that. We need to be patient, so we really need to work today. It's fine. We gotta enjoy our day off. It's gonna be great. Let's do, like, practice acting that'll be fun that's a new skill for us do a little bit of practicing oh no i think we did practice acting before did we i'm pretty sure i remember her holding like a piece of paper and practicing acting but maybe we haven't uh no this is the first time we've done this i don't know what i was thinking of before maybe it's a different series i was thinking of anyway she's almost done there got the acting skill i think she's having she's not really having fun it's 3 p.m. too, so... Uh, do we have enough food for, like, the work week? I feel like we should cook something. We do need to get our cooking skill up. Our cooking skill is pretty high for the most part, I think. But getting that cooking skill, we need to do gourmet cooking. We need to do um, baking, all of that stuff. All right, that's enough for now. Let's just make sure we get to cooking. Hopefully, she doesn't really need to eat right now. I just want to cook it and make sure... We're good to go for the week, the work week. It is Tuesday. So, I mean, we're already in the work week, but we work every other day, so it's a little confusing. All right, I'm actually going to have her meditate and kind of just do that for a minute. And I will put that away. All right, cool. So she's taking care of that, and then I'll put that in the trash. And hunger, we'll just wait till morning to eat. But after she meditates, I think I'll just have her go to sleep. I'm really trying to just basically skip over this day. 
so that we can can make that money. All right. How are we doing here? Wellness skill level three. She can now give aromatherapy, massage, and perform the triangle pose and yoga. Nice. All right. It's seven, eight. I'm going to have her stop at about eight, nine. We'll stop at nine because she doesn't work till nine. All right. Here we go. She's just meditating, having a good time there. And boom, let's give it a stop there. And then she'll go to sleep. And then I'll have her wake up and get some leftovers. I will probably maybe, well, I don't know if I'll need to have her do anything else like fun or hygiene. I think it's going to be pretty straightforward. Once she wakes up, she'll just get something to eat and then we head off. Oh, this rocket. Got so much stuff to do with the rocket. Okay, so she's up now. We are hungry and we don't work for quite a few hours actually. So not really sure what to do there. I mean, I could have bring her over here. And you kind of just, I mean, we can do a little bit of, I just love this, this room is so cute. Um, we could do, what do we want to do? Look at this outfit, girl. Look at this. <laughs> no, I really, why is the flowers look so weird? Okay. Maybe it's just the shadows. But anyway, trying to think, what can we do? What can we do? Um, painting chest. We could do, well, no, no, no. We're level 10 of the logic skill already. Okay, that's not going to work. Uh, I guess we could do more meditation. I mean, that'll like keep her in check for the most part. You know what I mean? Like she'll be pretty, pretty calm for work. And let me double check that we do. Yeah, we do in fact start work today and five hours. <laughs> Probably going to need to get a shower. Let's, let's like get ready. We'll just take a shower anyway. And we'll kind of just... Let's do that. We can now offer mental relaxation tips and perform the tree pose in yoga. That's cool. We should get a yoga mat or something. Have her get a shower. Okay, she's done with her shower. <laughs> what do we do? All right, she's gonna read. Let her let her take take some time to herself and read. All right, what's this? Earn a thousand simoleons. We can definitely do that. I think we'll be doing that today, actually. So I'm gonna have her, I guess, practice more acting for right now. I want to see. We, we, I can kind of go down the list and we can kind of work on, you know, what we, we already have skill in. So if we go watch channel, we can do the comedy channel. That way we can work on our comedy skill and things like charisma and gardening. I haven't really gardened much. Most of this is from our degree, but I'm glad she's working on her comedy skill. She works in an hour. We're pretty much good other than socialization. I'm wondering if we should just go ahead and call um, Angela. And talk to her. We could do that while we uh, are... Oh, okay. We're going to work. <laughs> Thought we had a little more time. That went quickly. Let's do it. La la la. Alright. Any day now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. We're here. It's a rainy day at the office. At the doctor's office. I'm going to start back here with this this person. And we're going to examine. We're going to swab for a sample or not. Let's go back and swab for sample. And then we will check ears. And then we will discuss general health. And then we will check eyes. Do we need more uh, information? Yeah. All right. So we'll do the treadmill test. Got to do the treadmill test. Okay, he has a cough of some sort. Okay, so we'll get him. We got to analyze his sample, I guess. Oh, we have too many samples. I don't know which one is which. Okay, well, let's go back to the exam bed because I have too many samples in my inventory. And let me actually pause this and destroy these samples. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Ah, are these all new? I can't destroy these. Okay, weird. I will take the temperature of the patient now. Let's do that. And then, oh, okay. He didn't, he didn't like that. We'll scan the body as well as discuss general health, which I thought we already did. And we have a weak diagnosis available. What else can we do? Oh, outbreak. A disease is broken out nearby. The hospital needs a doctor to treat the infected. Click on the front desk to travel to the outbreak. Hmm, that sounds fun. Maybe I just finish up with this guy first, though. Um, I already checked the patient's eyes. 
Um, we can do a weak diagnos diagnosis. What, do we, what did I say he had? He was like, let's just do the llama flu. I don't got time for this. All right, and then we'll go ahead and treat patient, give him the vaccine. I feel like that's wrong. It's incorrect. All right. Oh, he's leaving, so it must have worked. Did it work? It worked. Okay, so let's go to this outbreak. Gosh, I don't want to go to the outbreak. I'm nervous. <laughs> Um, we shall find out how this is gonna go. I don't, I just don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It sounds dangerous. That's all I have to say. Am I getting a hazmat suit is the question. All right. She's cleaning up dishes. I, where are we? Where, where are we? Wait a minute. Where is this? Is this an apartment somewhere? Like, where are we? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna treat you. I'm going to treat you, okay? This guy's going downstairs. We gotta follow him. Oh my gosh, she just fell over. Oh gosh. All right, sir, treat. All right, there's only three Sims we need to treat. Okay, apparently we were unable to treat literally all of them. Okay, I don't know what's happening. Why can't we treat them? Because they keep falling? Is that is that what's happening? Okay, she's getting a treatment. Does it work? Okay, cool. Now let's go find that guy down here. We gotta treat him. I don't know why I wasn't treating them the first time around. Was... Okay, we still can't treat this guy. I think it's because he's passed out. Is that is that the problem? Okay. What about this girl over here? She's still passed out as well. I don't, I don't really know what to do. Treat. Okay, she got up. So we'll treat her. The other guy is not getting up. So I don't know how to do that. Like, what do I, what? Maybe it's like where he fell over at. We can't like get to him. Oh, we can't get in there. Oh, cause it's the men's room. <laughs> of course he went in the men's room and I can't, I can't get him out of the men's room. Mm -hmm. Um, that is like not great. What do I do? <laughs> I have no idea what to do now. Uh, I can't. Ooh, ooh, what if I reset him? Okay, okay. What if I like call him over? Can I Can I tell him to come here? <gasps> yes, oh no, he fell over again. Hold on, we're just gonna reset him one more time. And we're going to, no, 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 don't. <laughs> no, I know. Uh, it's fine. I should have just stayed at the hospital. I should have just stayed there. We can go back, I think. I think we have the ability to go back. I actually don't know. I don't think we can actually. They can't click on the front desk. Okay, well, that was that. Let's go back over here. I'm like getting a little frustrated. Let's treat some children here. I feel like the children are gonna be easier because we won't need to do tests on them, maybe. Uh, let's do general health and, uh, check ears and take temperature, eyes and scan body. So we did all of those. And then I think we have a, we have a weak diagnosis. We can do general health again. Let's see. Oh, was that a, was that a diagnosis sound? She, he's dizzy or something. Bloaty head, starry eyes. Let's do starry eyes. All right, and then we'll go ahead and treat, oops, treat patient, starry eye meds. Please work, please work, please work. Yes, all right. Let's go to the next child here. We're gonna examine patient, swab for sample. He has a, a fever. All right, so we know that. And then we will see what else, what else he has going on with him and what we can find out. Uh, we could, can, of course, do the, the sample. And, and do a little thing there. Okay, let's see, what do you got? General health, let's discuss that. And then I think it's just a weak diagnosis. So he has a fever. Should I, what time is it? It's five. I think I have time to analyze the patient sample. I don't know which one to use though, that's the problem. All right, let's do weak diagnosis. So he has a fever, sweaty shivers. I feel like it's gonna be the llama flu or sweaty shivers. 
I'm just going to look at him. He doesn't have any, like, visible signs of rash or anything. <sighs> this could be make or break. Because, like, look, four out of five. I'm going to just go in here and analyze the patient, patient sample. I don't know who's patient. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Who? What's his name? Okay. Okay. I think this is him right here. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to get a good diagnosis here. So we have two hours left. And then we'll be on our way to promotion. Okay. And did we get anything from that, honestly? Like, are we... Did we... Where's our... Where's the... Oh, there we go. Weak diagnosis still... Well, what do we do? Oh, we could do an x-ray scan on him. Let's see if we can get him on the x-ray. We don't have much time left. So hopefully we can get it done. If not, we're just gonna have to wait till tomorrow. All right, and then let's try to get him back into his exam bed and hopefully treat him. We only have 10 minutes. Oh gosh, I don't think I can do it in 10 minutes. All right, compelling diagnosis, the llama flu. Please, please diagnose him in like two seconds here. All right, okay. And then treat with the vaccine. I don't think we'll be able to do it. Darn it. I was so close. Oh, it's okay. We'll get him tomorrow. Let's get him tomorrow. Oh. Okay. At least we got some money. I think we we have 30,000. Does that mean we got... No, it has to be 35,000. All right. So tomorrow will be the day. It's already 7, so we don't have much to worry about. I think... I'm going to invite, let's invite Angela over and we will do a little meditation. All right. She's already here. Also, can I destroy these samples or are they still, oops, no, I have them. Like, how do I get rid of them? Please, somebody, somebody get rid of them. Let's see. Um, we're going to just go and ask about day, I guess. I just can't, I'm going to have to analyze all of them, I think, it for fun, to get rid of them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, come on over and hang out, Julia. So we can talk about cooking, and we can flatter, and talk about warm temperature, and whatever. Just get that social up, and it is eight. I kind of want to hold off on eating, though. I think we're just going to go to sleep. Go to sleep, and then we'll wake up in the morning, refreshed, and we'll go get something to eat. Honestly, you might want to take a shower in the morning. All right, so I will line up getting leftovers. So we're good. I kind of want to send you guys home, though, so it kind of goes faster. Send home. Okay, send home. Y'all can go home. Thank you. At least one went home anyway. So, let's just wait for this to, to go faster. <laughs> Can't go any faster because she is hanging out. But anyway, I'm doing well. We're sleeping it off. We're going to have tomorrow, obviously, we work, which is great. Thank goodness for back-to-back -back shifts. And we will definitely successfully diagnose and treat five patients, I think. And we'll be able to get the 35,000. We should be, right? Because if it's, we're at 35, so we only need 4,000. If we do our, do up to the gold level, we should get the full payout of like four or 5,000, whatever it is. All right, so she's getting ready for work. She still has a lot of time before work, though. I, oh, lifestyle gained, health food nut. That makes sense. All right, what do we want to do? I mean, we really could work on our rocket. I don't know if that's going to be like beneficial to us in the future. Probably for the rocket science career, I would think. I don't know. I feel like for the rocket science career, we're going to need to rebuild our rocket. All right, level eight. She can now build and upgrade faster. Nice. Exactly what we want to see. All right, she wants to earn 100 simoleons too, which we can definitely do. All right, I will... Also have you do meditation. I think that will be something we should do. Let's do that for a little while. Get the wellness skill up. 
and then we'll just go to work from there. Social is going to be the only questionable thing at that point. And we don't have to go to the bathroom, obviously, because we never have to go to the bathroom. It's beautiful. Uh, <laughs> take it away, those, those pesky needs, one at a time. But we start at nine. Uh, we are doing great. We're not hungry. I mean, we might get hungry soon, but we're going to hold out hope that we're not hungry. I kind of want to do a quick meal. Let me see. Can I do a quick meal? Literally just do like some applesauce or something. Just so she could get that done before work. Um, and then we won't have to get something out of the vending machine later. Because she is going to have to go all day. What is it? Like a... She works 9 to 7. It's like a 10 hour shift or something like that. Is that right? I think it's a 10 hour shift. All right. She can now give deep tissue massages and perform the warrior pose in yoga and levitate when meditating. She starts work in an hour. So I'm just going to have her get that snack of applesauce so we don't have to eat later. All right. So that's that. And we're going to head off to work now. Let's do it. She's just standing around. So we, the goals are perform a, just a whole medical thing just to treat someone properly and correctly and do our best performance so we can get a nice payout all right let's see what we have to work with here all right let's take on this person um we're gonna go ahead and swab for a sample to start and then we're going to check the patient's eyes and we are going to check a patient's ears and then we're going to Take the patient's temperature. Take temperature. And we're going to scan the patient's body. Sorry, I'm just like waiting for all of these to come up on our list over here in the corner. And then after that, we're going to discuss the general health of our patient. I like these ones. They're easy. I like them. Okay, so now I believe I should scan you at the x-ray machine. So let's go do that. And then I do need to analyze the patient's sample. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we have Brittany's uh, sample there. So we'll do that. And then we're probably gonna have to admit her back to the bed. Oh, is this broken? I think it's broken. Did it break? Yeah, it broke during the scan. It requires a repair. Great, okay. Um, there's also a collapsed sim here, so that's lovely. <laughs> All right, I can't x-ray scan you. I have to repair that. I don't have time to repair that. Is she still, like, stuck in it? Do I have to repair it while she's in there? <laughs> All right, alerting Dr. Seaglass, an extremely sick sim. I should be like... Alerting Dr. Seaglass, an extremely sick sim just stumbled into the waiting room, barely conscious and able to stand. Quickly come to the front reception desk. They need urgent medical attention stat. All right. Well, she's stuck in the machine, so there goes that. I'm going to treat you with surgery, sir. Maybe this will count toward my diagnose and treat five patients. Let's see. Uh, she literally is stuck in here and I can't repair it. Let me see if I reset. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, I will need her to go back into the exam room, though. Uh, let me see. Medical referral. Actually, no, I can do x-ray exam from here. Okay, nice. That did count for our treat five patients. So we're good. Now we just need to focus on doing our top performance here. Now, can I get you compelling diagnosis? I also don't know what you have. Okay, she has a cough. Is it this? Burning belly? Like, I don't know. I have no idea. Can I just admit you back to your exam bed? Let's just do that. Okay, there she goes. Just quit it. Quit. I don't want her to think I gave up on her. All right. Now, I don't... I think we have burning belly. I'm going to go with it. And that does need surgery, so we'll see if that works out. Are we gonna, yep, we're gonna go do surgery. So after this, I'm going to log analysis results for our goals over here. We also are treating, a oh, treatment failure. Whoops, <laughs> whoopsies. She's like a celebrity that we just mistreated. It's fine, I knew that. I just didn't, the x-ray machine was broken. Hopefully, it looks fixed now, so I think we're good. I will go ahead and swab our next friend. Let's go ahead in here and swab for sample. What's your name? Okay, Ian. That's Ian. And we're going to discuss health with Ian. 
And then we'll go ahead and scan Ian's body. There we go. And what else are we going to do here? Yeah. Uh, take a temperature of the patient. Okay. And then check the ears. Gotta check those ears. Perfect. Great. Oh, it didn't work. The ears didn't work. Oh, it did. Um, I think we don't have a really good diagnosis, so I'm going to analyze the patient's sample over here. Uh, is this Ian's? Yeah. I kind of feel like I just need to analyze a bunch of samples. We're at the gold point, so I feel like that's pretty solid. We can just go ahead and analyze some more patient samples so I can just get them out of my inventory. That would be lovely. Her work day is about to end. Um, did we get a diagnosis? We got a weak diagnosis. Compelling diagnosis. He hasn't really shown any signs of anything. I could do like x-ray and all that stuff, but I don't want to. You know what? I'm about to leave, so I'll just leave that for the next guy. Um, we'll do a patient sample. I'm just gonna just do my best here. All right, we're about to leave and we're about to get money. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at all of this stuff happening right now. So we did a fantastic job. Coral's been promoted to chief of staff. She'll now make an additional 62 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 495 per hour. She's also received a bonus of 1720 and the doctor career styled room. Her next shift is Friday at 9. She earned 5000 today. So that means we should be on the next level of the aspiration and we can get a new job. But here's what I'm thinking. I kind of want to keep with the same job just to get more money because we do need to now reach 200,000 and 50,000. Actually, that might not be it. We might be able to like do something a little more beneficial. Also, we're not even at nine th uh, 10,000 yet. Hmm. Well, what do I do? I think we probably will need to quit our jobs if I'm quite honest, because what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Uh, we, we can go to work tomorrow. It looks like we work like back to backs two days and then we're off three days. I think we earn 495 an hour. I think we should at least do a shift at that level 10 doctor chief of staff. And then we'll kind of go from there. So she works tomorrow, right? Yeah, she works tomorrow. We gotta get that money. Now we need to figure out what is going to make us the most money next. Like painting is a really good one. I love the painting and all of that stuff. I am just trying to think, I mean, writing could be beneficial, but at first it's really difficult to get money. And also those are things that will have like, some things have their own aspirations, you know? Maybe I like quit on this one. I'm not sure. Cause we're at 38,000. It's not that great. We can definitely get to the 50,000 part, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have her call and chat with Julia. I don't know if that's going to count here for this one. We might need to invite Julia over. So we'll at least try to get some uh, aspiration points here and chat with Julia. Be really beneficial for our, our stuff, whatever. Um, Thoughts of deep thoughts. What do we want? What do we want? Which one has deep thoughts is where cloud gazes compliments. No, I just want like chat interests. Like, do we have just a chat, a chat option, please <laughs> discuss interests. I don't know. Ask about career. I think I'm going to, Oh, okay. I counted. I counted. Julia's unemployed. Uh, I don't know this guy, but we want to apparently flirt with Marcus. I, 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 I don't know what's going on there. All right, we are so close to getting this this ten thousand. I'm. Let me let me see. Oh, da, da, da. Creativity. See, creativity. The painter extraordinaire is a problem because we already did. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do painter, right? Painter extraordinaire, because we already did the full. Uh, painting levels or whatever. But we do. I think we need to. Do we need to like join a career or anything? No. So we may as well get this done because it makes the most sense. And then we go back to the fortune one. I think that's fair, right? I'm going to go with that because we already have the paintings mostly done. Okay. So we need to be inspired 
to make some paintings. Now, this is where I would probably go ahead and get that light. Let's see if we can find it. It's the inspiration light, these uh, inspiring. Here we go. And then downsize it and we just put it there and then we, well, we'll go up here. I'm gonna enable the emotional aura and we're going to uh, just like, I don't know, we don't need this on. Just turn that off and then we'll go ahead and we need to do, so we need to start paintings while inspired. So I kind of want to just sit in here, I guess. I don't know. Um, or we could just like, I don't know, we'll get started. We'll start a painting. And then the more we stand in here, we might be inspired. I don't know. We're, we're, we're going to try this, our hand at this. Okay. So she's just too confident right now. So she is inspired, but just way too confident from like all her promotions and everything that just happened. So this will be for just, I guess, selling later might be beneficial. Ooh, 10,000, we're at 10,000. Okay, let's go get the never weary trait. Finally, thank goodness. Yes, done. Oh, we never have to sleep again. Well, you know, we'll sleep again. Let's go ahead and actually go to sleep. And then I'm gonna throw this in our inventory and we'll sell this later. I wanna destroy these patient samples. I think I can, can I, I should be able to destroy, there we go, that one and that one. But these other ones, is this one? Yep. So I should be able to destroy them after I analyze them. So maybe I need to do that at the doctor's place so I can get those out of my inventory. That, that would definitely be beneficial. I think I'll do that definitely at the end of my shift tomorrow. Okay. So we're hungry. And... That's, we got to get some food when we wake up. So I'll just cue that up. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.